welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators and designers with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own email signature in Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo and even Apple Mail. Before we dive into the tutorial, I just want to let you know that I'll put all of the links to any resources down in the comment section below of the video and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because by doing so, it lets me know that you guys are digging the content that I'm creating. So most of you probably know the basics of creating an email signature, but there are actually a few things that can trip you up. So let's go over the best tips to get you the best results. So not all designs work on email signatures. If you've got heaps of creative elements and lots of moving images and things like that, it's not really gonna translate very well into your email signature. Remember, you're gonna be sending emails, you know, you could be sending hundreds of them per day, so you don't wanna boggle it down with too many images and crazy layouts and things like that. You just wanna keep it nice and simple and have the most important contact information in the email signature so people can get exactly what they need from it. There are also only a set limit of fonts that work with email signatures and the reason for that is because not everyone has a extravagant font library so they've actually just condensed it down to a few different fonts that you can use and as long as you stick with those fonts your email is always going to format it's always going to send and you're not going to have any problems so when you want to use images in your email signature it's not a good idea just to drag and drop it into the email signature settings what you actually want to do is host your images on something like Dropbox or Google because what your email uh, provider will do is actually just take a little render from that link that you grab and it will pop it into the email for you. Rather than having your email have to load an image every single time that it is sending and receiving your email signature. So the best tool that I have found, which is free, <laughs> to create your email signature is actually through HubSpot. They have a email template wizard that you can use and everything is exactly how you'd want it. It keeps you in a great design, it uses the right fonts, it links the images from your Dropbox or Google, and it also has like really easy installation instructions. So it doesn't matter whether you're trying to build your email signature in Yahoo or Google or Apple Mail or Gmail or anything like that. It makes it really easy to just go through the steps and create your email signature. So you can use this template generator whether you are one person, five people or 10 people, it doesn't really matter. I think it's actually quite good for larger organizations because you can keep everything really streamlined and all you would need to do when you want to update your signature is come back into the template that you have designed and update it and then resend out any instructions with the new design that you have for your staff. If you're just a one man band or two people or anything like that, you can just obviously do exactly the same process and just reinstall your email signature when you've changed it. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is grab a Google Doc and just get all of your information set up right away because it makes the process so much easier. So I've just put in some um, fake <laughs> details, I guess, and I've also got a logo image ready which is in my Dropbox. I've also got a special image because I know that I want to have some kind of banner. And it's a good idea to use these dimensions here whenever you're creating for email signatures. So uh, the height is probably about 300. I mean, you can make it any height you like, but I think that it goes quite well with um, seven to eight pixels, which is the maximum you can have on an email signature and in the specific um, HubSpot template that we're going to be using. And I've also got like an image link to the special that I've got. And I've also included a GIF that I've created as well, because I just want to show you that you can do it. So grab all your information first and I'll show you my Dropbox. So I've just downloaded a copy of the, uh, uh, in, you know, the, the instructions, well not the instructions, sorry, my personal information. And I've just popped it into my Dropbox um, 
file for storage. And then here's where all my images are. So this is where I'm getting the links from for my images. So if I right click here and I go copy Dropbox link, that's how I've gotten the links for my images. So that's a really important one. And it's always a good idea to set up files like this so that it's nice and clean. So um, how I created some of the images was uh, the special image that I've got is actually created in Canva and you can do that too. So you can uh, update or create or anything you like and the GIF I did actually make in Photoshop. I usually work and do everything in Photoshop or Adobe products but just to show you guys that you can create your own as well. Okay so let's jump on over into HubSpot. So the web address is up here and I'll put it in the comments section of the video as well so you can get to it really easily. So when you get to it, it's just set up so beautifully and it makes it really easy. Okay, so you have got, let me just move this over here. <laughs> So you have got templates to choose from and when I said like not all designs work, all of the designs in the template generator will work and they're designed to work. So that's why it's good to use a template generator like this. I've already pre-selected one because I quite like this one. I've already gone through them. And the next step is of it is going to be adding in your details. So that's where that uh, document comes in handy for copying and pasting all your details really quickly. It's also good for when you've got lots of staff. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to copy and paste the information in. And you can see on the right hand side that it is already starting to generate all of the information which is awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert all of the information in here. Okay so one thing also as well when you're using this generator you don't have to use all of the fields that they've got in there. So say for example like I don't want to put in a department because I don't really have a department but if you did you could put in marketing department or admin department or whatever it is that you want to use. There is a bonus content field here as well that they've got, but I don't really want to use that because I don't really have any bonus content to put in there. So you don't have to use all of the fields that are in the template. You can just use the ones that apply to you. And they don't have all of the social media accounts in here, but that's okay because I think you really only want to put like a few. You don't want to have like 20 social media links in your email. Okay, so let's go into the next step which is stylizing any colors. So you can just use the color picker and pick whatever colors you like. Uh, I actually like everything black and I might change it to like a purple because I've got purple in my branding. If you've got your hex codes for your brand, you can just copy and paste them in there. Otherwise, just use the picker. And here's where it gets really cool because this is the fonts that you've got to choose from. So remember when I mentioned that there are only a limited amount of fonts that you can use? Well, here they are. So it keeps you, you can choose whatever ones you want. Uh, so you can have something a little bit more old school or you can just go with standard area, which I think just looks really nice. You can also have uh, your font large or a lot smaller. I think medium looks good. So this just keeps you with limited options so that you can actually have it um, working in your email signature. So let's get cracking with some images. So this is where it says um, to put in those image links. So that's where again this document comes really handy because you've already got everything uh, ready to go. So I've got my logo image in here and if you have any problems with sizing or anything like that uh, you should be able to just resize in Canva or it should resize for you in the template generator here. Um, obviously, I don't know what everyone's logo sizes are going to be, so I haven't given you a recommendation of that, but I have given a recommendation on the special services image for the specific template, which is um, just here, the 300 by 728 there. So that's what I've created it at. 
So I'm just going to grab that link here and uh, this is the company logo. Well, I've put mine in the profile picture because I think it goes there, but let's actually grab it and see what happens when we put it down here. Oh, cool. So it just generates down there. So I think I'm probably going to want to keep my picture up here. So this is um, why it's good to use the template generator because it only gives you a couple of options, but it's because emails are really quite archaic, like email signatures, and they can only do a certain amount of things. So if you work within the template and the design, you can actually get quite a lot done. Okay, so profile picture, create a custom CTA. Let's just type this in and see where this comes in. Nah, that's not coming in. Oh, did it come in down the bottom? Oh, it's down the bottom. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, so if I was going to be doing a special, I'd probably direct them to my like services page, I guess. Um, or wherever my special was going to be. I'll just do that in there. Oh, this is probably why I couldn't see it because the color was white. <laughs> okay, text color. Oh, it's because I haven't written anything in for the for the call the action. The call the action. That's why it's not showing up. I couldn't figure out why, but there we go. This is why those uh, this generator is good. So we'll do like services. Oh, cool. So we've got like a little button down here. So we've got some options for that. Uh, maybe I would do like maybe free quote, or I could do like book now or something like that. Um, so the custom call to action image, let's just see. So I've got the one that I created in Canva. So let's just see where that appears. Oh, okay. All right. So you either have or, oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? With the template there. So you either have or, uh, you either have a button or you can have this down here and it's going to link to the special. So let's just get that out of there. Sorry guys. Okay. So yeah perfect that's looking great so i've got my email signature it's all formatted correctly i've got like a image in there which is um like a good banner so i could put anything in there let's just put in a gif and see how that goes as well so i'm going to put it into the same place as oops as the image Ah, look at that. Very cool. So you can do quite a lot with this email signature template. So that's great. Okay, so checking that all of the links work. Yes, I can see that it's working there. Okay, let's create the signature. Uh, okay, so if you uh, do anything that doesn't make any sense, it's going to come up and not let you do it. So let's just enter this in again. Okay, perfect. Okay, create the signature. Very good. So you can see that it's coming through. Here's the email signature. And the great thing about this uh, template generator is it's you can copy the signature, you can copy the source code, or you can email it. And it's got all of the options that you can do down here. So whatever email uh, program that you use, you can you can actually click on here and it will give you all of the instructions on how to do it because the difficult thing with installing email signatures is because everyone has different uh, providers but also um, you actually have to install them locally on people's computers so yeah that's basically how it works so that's fantastic we've just created that email signature and I can come back in at any time and I can update the signature if I wanted to update the packages or update any information and what I would do is like I mentioned before is I would just keep a note of all of the uh, settings that I had in here just in case I wanted to change them for next time but most likely you're probably just going to be setting up and changing your images here and then uh, reinstalling it again. If you enjoyed my content today please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.